Hello guys and assalamualaikum. So welcome to my first lesson of chemistry. We're going to start with chapter one, matter. So in chapter one, we have three subtopics, and we will first go to the first subtopic, which is atoms and molecules. Before that, we will intro. I want to introduce to you what is chemistry. Okay, so chemistry is the study of matter. And the change matter undergoes, but then what is matter? Okay, matter is anything that occupies space, maksudnya mengambil ruang, and has mass. Ada apa ni? Ada berat. Okay, so matter in Malay is actually jisim lah. Okay, examples of matter include air, udara, water, animals, trees, atoms, pelgi, phone, apa lagi? Anything, okay? So, there are three states of matter. Your matter can exist in three states. Solid, liquid, and gas, okay? So, matter is everything around us, okay? Except for vacuum. Vacuum maksudnya tak adalah matter, okay? Alright. So, for the first subtopic, atoms and molecules, the learning objectives are as follows. We will learn how to write isotope notation, Okay, interpret mass spectrum, calculate the average atomic mass of an element given the relative abundances of isotopes or a mass spectrum, and then calculate the relative atomic mass based on carbon-12. Okay, so first of all, we will get to know the most um, basic element of a compound. Okay, so a chemical element has Atom as the smallest unit. So, maksudnya dalam sesuatu elemen tu, atom ialah benda yang paling basic, paling kecil. Okay? So, your atom, it is made up of three subatomic particles. So, if you look here on your right, you can see the apa, how the modern atomic model looks like. So, we have our proton. This blue thing here, this is our proton. It has a plus charge or positive charge. And then we have our neutron, this red one. Okay. And then we also have our electron. The electron is orbiting around your nucleus. Okay. So your proton and neutron, it is encapsulated in the nucleus. Okay. Your proton and neutron, eh, sorry, proton and neutron, it lives in your nucleus. Alright? Okay. Your subatomic particles, they have um, their own mass. So, for electron, the mass is this, 9.1 times 10 to the power of negative 28. For proton, it is 1.67 times 10 negative 24, um, similar to a neutron as well. Okay? So, if you look here, if you compare the mass of your electron with proton and neutron, your electron is much more lighter. Sangat-sangat ringan banding dengan proton dan neutron. Okay? So, that means that um, your electron um, is very light and uh, it travels very fast. Lah. Okay? Okay. So, the charge of your electron in Coulomb is negative 1.6 times 10 negative 19. Whereas for proton, it is positive okay, of that value. Neutron pula, you have zero charge. Okay, zero charge, zero Coulomb. So, that means that your neutron, okay, your neutron here, this one, your new one, Mirani, it is neutral. Dia tak ada charge apa-apa. So, dalam nucleus awak ni, proton awak je yang positive charge. Okay? And your electron is negatively charged. Okay. So, apa yang dekat hujung ni? Kenapa? What does it mean by charge units? It is actually relative charge. Relative maksudnya kita um, ambil simplest ratio. Okay? Kita kecil, kecilkan... Um, Kita bandingkan charge ni dengan value dia sendiri supaya kita dapat value yang lebih kecil. So, units ni untuk kira charge in a simpler 
uh, number okay instead of using this number so for electron okay it is negative one for proton it is positive one and neutron is zero okay that's how you get the um, relative charge for your subatomic particles all right okay next we are going to look at these definitions we need to learn we need to understand these definitions to understand at isotopic notation okay the next slide nanti kita akan tengok isotopic notation tu apa so first we have to know what is uh, this term proton number with the symbol z okay so proton number is basically the total number of protons in the nucleus of the atom or also known as atomic number so kalau soalan tu dia cakap atomic number that means it's actually the number of protons lah okay ini dengan ini sama maksud okay next term is nuclear number or the symbol is a okay nucleon kan kalau tengok kat sini nucleon it is actually what is in the nucleus okay so the definition for nuclear number is the total number of protons and neutrons in the nucleus okay so our punya apa tip or hint daripada nama ni nucleon maksudnya what is in the nucleus you know that the protons and neutrons live in the nucleus so that means that bila awak nak kira nuclear number awak kena campur number of proton dengan number of neutrons okay so another name for nuclear number is also mass number okay so now that we know these two terms we can look at isotopic notation or isotope notation so isotope notation is actually a way to represent atom or ion okay macam uh Macam awak student, macam mana nak uh, represent diri awak dengan nombor matrix contohnya, okay? Dengan nama, okay? So, basically isotope notation ni untuk kenal atom dengan ion awak, okay? There are two other names for isotope notation. Sometimes they call it nuclide notation or atomic symbol. So, if the question asks you for Nuclide notation or atomic symbol, it is the same as isotope notation. So, your isotope notation ha is written in this form. A, X, Z. Alright. So, let's look at X first. What is X? X is your element symbol of your atom or ion. Contohnya macam element tu. Um, awak boleh jumpa dekat periodic table macam carbon bromine oxygen chlorine argon okay ini adalah element symbol lah okay so z pula yang bawah ni on your bottom left it is the proton number of your element x okay so basically it represents the number of protons all right so z ni it is actually fixed, okay, for each element. It will not change, okay. Next is A. A is your nuclear number. Macam tadi yang saya cakap tu. It is the number of protons plus the number of neutrons, okay. So, Sometimes, an element is represented by using only the nuclear number. So, selain daripada cara ni, isotope notation ni untuk represent ion atau atom awak, you can also represent your atom or ion by um, nuclear number. Okay? For example, if you have sodium here, ini nuclear number dia kan? So, you can also represent this um, element as sodium 23. Okay, so 23 is your A, your nuclear number. Okay, nuclear number yang ni. Alright, okay. Next, 
Okay. Here we have, um, we are going to see the relationship between nuclear number, proton number, and number of neutrons. So let's say for this element, Hg is actually mercury. Okay. Um, given the A and Z, okay, you can actually find the number of neutrons. All right. How? Because when you have the nuclear number, since A is equal to number of proton plus number of neutrons, okay, and you are given the number of see, Z, number of proton, can number of proton, that means you can find the number of neutrons, okay. One thing to remind you, please do not write neutron numbers, write number of neutrons, okay? So, this is the way for you to find the number of neutrons, A minus Z. Okay, simple kan? Ni saya dah tulis dah sini. Okay, on your right here pula, kalau awak tengok, ini sama, A sama, Z sama, okay? Nuclear number dengan proton number sama dengan this atom. But, you have something on your top right. What is this? Okay, kalau awak ingat daripada um, sekolah menengah. Okay, this is actually your charge. Okay, so your charge will actually tell you the number of electrons. Okay, so since it has a plus 2 charge, okay, Magne uh, magnesium blood mercury 2 plus okay that means that you have more number of protons than number of electrons okay your number of protons is fixed for your element it will not change okay when you have charge that means that you form your cation or an ion by losing or gaining electron Okay, I will go into further detail uh, on the next slide. Okay, so we're going to refresh the terms atom, cation, and anion. Okay, your atom is neutral. That means that it has zero charge. Okay, so that means that the number of proton and number of electrons are equal. Okay, maksudnya contoh awak ada six protons. And 6 electrons. So that means that. Our punya charge is plus 6 minus 6. Equals to 0. So the punya overall charge is 0 charge. Untuk atom. Alright. So that's why this is the key. Atom memang number of proton and electron is the same. For cation pula. Cation is an ion with a positive charge. Okay. So positive ion. So that means that. The number of proton is more than the number of electron. Okay? You have more protons than electrons. That means your atom has lost electrons. Okay? Dia ada buang elektron. Sebab tu, punya number of proton lebih banyak. Okay? Okay, next is an ion. A negative charge ion. Alright? That means you have more number of electrons than number of proton. Okay. Okay, maksudnya, maksudnya awak punya atom. Oh, sh sorry. What happened? Okay, gangguan technical. Okay, where was I? So for an ion, okay. The number of electrons is more than the number of protons. That means that your atom has gained electrons. Okay. So basically, for your cation and anion, ni, the number of protons don't change. Alright. So, sebab uh, proton awak ni tinggal dalam nucleus. Okay. So, dia susah awak nak buang atau nak tambah. Okay. What is actually forming your cation or anion is the loss or gain of electrons from your 
atoms Okay Maksudnya Number of electrons Bila awak ada charge ni Number of electrons Yang berubah Right Bukannya number of proton Number of proton is fixed Right Okay So next Isotopes Okay This is a new term Oh sorry New term for you to learn So isotopes are atoms of the same element With same number of protons in the nucleus But different number of neutrons So how does that look like? Okay Maksudnya isotopes tu adalah um, Let's say dua atau tiga benda okay Atoms of the same element If you look here Okay This top part is um, Hydrogen isotopes Ada tiga isotop untuk hydrogen Okay So Maksudnya atoms of the same element Where we have hydrogen Hydrogen and hydrogen Okay With the same number of protons Okay proton kat mana? Bottom left kan? So ni Number of proton dia satu 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 So that's the same number In the nucleus But different number of neutrons Okay Kalau awak tengok atas ni Okay Dia punya nuclear number Is one Two And three Okay So that means that Kalau awak punya number of proton is the same That means number of Neutron Is Different Okay Berbeza lah Sebab tu awak punya nuclear number ni berbeza But please stick to um, this definition, okay? Different number of neutrons. Okay. A characteristic of your isotope is that they have same chemical properties. That means that hydrogen, deuterium, and tritium, they have same chemical properties. That means it reacts to um, a certain reaction Similarly, okay, cara dia react dengan, let's say, combustion, sama, okay, but, but, different physical properties, maksudnya, dia punya boiling point, melting point, apa lagi point, 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 yang lain tu, benda macam tu, physical properties, berbeza, okay, alright, so bawah ni, awak ada uranium punya isotopes, Okay, so this is an exercise for you to do. So give the number of protons, neutrons, electrons and charge in each of the following species. So I want you to try to do this exercise on your own. Nanti boleh cek jawapan dengan saya, okay? Okay, next exercise juga. And I want to um, bring light, bring light. To this part here, saya tertinggal ni patutnya bukan charge. Saya tersalah. Please write notation, okay? Sebab awak nak cari nuclide notation or isotope notation. Okay, let's try doing that. Test yourself. And then, we are going to look at um, molecule. Okay, what is a molecule? I think you know what a molecule is. It is basically non-metal plus non metal tu paling basic lah yang awak pernah belajar dekat sekolah okey so basically it is, a molecule consists of small number of atoms joined together by covalent bonds and you can have diatomic metal a uh, metal pula diatomic molecule that means you have two di means two atoms like these okey or you can also have polyatomic molecule poly means more than two lah Macam here, O3 or ozone, okay, H2O, water, NH3, NH3 ammonia and CH4, methane, alright. So, beza dia antara atoms dengan molecules, you can see that atoms ni dia adalah single, sangat single, okay, single sangat. Molecules ni dia um, bergabung lah, okay. Alright, that's the first part of my video explanation for 1.1.